Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to check out the new Star Wars Unlimited starter set. We would be honored if you would join us. That's right, Star Wars Unlimited is finally here. People are getting cards in hand, they're playing the game, and from what I hear, people are loving it. And uh, this is a brand new game from Fantasy Flight. And uh, if you know, if you've been around, uh, Fantasy Flight has put out most of the recent Star Wars collectible card games. And before that, there was a company called Decipher. They put out the original Star Wars collectible card game. I played that. I still have all those cards. Still, still look back at that game as being the one that started it all, the best, right? Like no, nothing can compare. After that, there was a Young Jedi set. I had that too. And then, uh, of course, some other games have, have kind of come and gone. And I've done a couple of gameplay reviews and card reviews for some of those games. And I thought, you know what? Let's just let's break out some of the old stuff and look at that too. So I think going forward, I think I will break out the first CCG. We'll look at some of those cards. We'll break out Young Jedi. Uh, we'll even go back further. I'll break out some. I'll break out some Wonder Bread cards and some early uh, Star Wars trading cards. Let's, let's let's get out some cards, okay? But really super excited to jump into Star Wars Unlimited. Brand new game. Uh, people are starting to play it and you're starting to see the videos, unboxing videos and gameplay videos on uh, YouTube. And of course, my channel, if you don't know, if it's about Star Wars and it's in my life, then that's what we talk about. So I've done reviews for collectible toys. I've done reviews for books. I've done reviews for uh, some of the new shows that have come out. I've even uh, walked around Galaxy's Edge and, and talked about things there. So it, it doesn't matter. You know, the way I look at Star Wars is all of us have kind of a broad fan base. You know, I don't think there's any one Star Wars fan that says, well, I only collect posters or I, I only collect the vintage toys. I think with Star Wars, what you'll find is we kind of have our, <laughs> we kind of have our fingers dipped in a lot of different things. And that's just where I'm at too. So with this game, uh, you know, I've, I, I play CCGs, I play Magic the Gathering, I play Pokemon, uh, I, you know, I, I play a lot of those games. And so I'm, I think I was a little hesitant to get into Star Wars Unlimited because I didn't know if I was going to getting into, I was, didn't know if I was going to start playing Lorcana. I had started getting some of the cards for Lorcana, but Lorcana didn't just, I just didn't get off the ground with it. The cards were so hard to find when it first came out. Uh, and it was hard to find places to play. And the comic book stores and the gaming stores were kind of hoarding their cards and they weren't let, letting people buy them. You couldn't buy the cards on Amazon, you know, and uh, it, it just felt really closed. That game felt really closed to me as, as a fan. And then there were all these people that were just Disney fans who were buying the Lorcana cards, but they weren't playing the game and they would just buy like everything off the shelf. And people who wanted to play the game, like myself, weren't able to. So the fact that I was able to get cards fast, um, I even got them off Amazon, right? And so the fact that they're out there, the fact that the, the cards are available, people are playing it, the door feels so much more open to this. So goodbye, Lurkana. Hello, Star Wars Unlimited. First up, let's look at the box. Everything comes inside this. And as you can see, it's two decks ready to play, ages 12 and up. You're going to get a Luke Skywalker deck and a Darth Vader deck. And this is for the Spark of Rebellion series. The backside shows everything you get, everything inside the Luke deck, everything inside the Darth Vader deck. Today, uh, we'll be looking just at the Darth Vader deck. I figured that's enough content for one video, right? And we'll look at the Luke Skywalker deck next time. This also shows you what they recommend as far as boosters, sleeves, and that it's a fantasy flight game, two-player head-to-head battle. I'm super excited. Let's break this open. One of the great things about getting the starter pack is that you're going to get everything you need to play. Right now, at the time of this recording, um, some of the extra play mats and the extra tokens are sold out everywhere. So you don't have to wait to get those items if you get the starter pack because you will get uh, paper versions. So 
in Darth Vader, of course, you're going to get the paper playmat. So there's areas for ground units, base, leader, space units, and then your resources. And then there's also rules and references. And so that's going to be very helpful when you're just starting out and just learning the game. And along with that, you'll get the cardboard punch out tokens that you uh, can use. And they are double sided, double printed. And pro yes, they're not as exciting as, you know, the, the transparent uh, tokens that GameGenic has put out. But you know, right now they're, they're sold out and they're very hard to find. And so these are, I think, your next best. And you will also get a Star Wars Unlimited Spark of Rebellion play guide. And if you've ever purchased a game from Fantasy Flight before, you know that they're very good uh, with their instructions. Their instructions are very clear. I know there's lots of YouTube channels out there that tell you how to play, but depending on how fast a reader you are and how well versed you are at collectible card games, you might just wanna start with the rule book. It might get you going a lot faster. And while there are custom boxes that are out there, uh, more hard boxes uh, for your decks, the starter pack comes with a box for both uh, your decks. And so this is the Darth Vader box. And as you can see, all you have to do is kind of squeeze, push it down, and then fold your flaps inward and your box is built and ready to go. And if you are wondering, yes, the boxes are big enough to support the cards with sleeves. And you can purchase special Star Wars Unlimited sleeves as well to go along with your cards. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the cards. I love getting new cards, especially when it's a brand new game. And so here's your Star Wars Unlimited one-way back design, right? Meaning that if they were shuffled, right, you'll have to write the cards. It's not a two-way back design but uh, it's a very uh, nice handling deck. Everything glides from hand to hand very well. So the cards have a really nice coating, which means they will shuffle well. So here's your Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith. He is your leader. And when he's first deployed, he'll act kind of like a commander in a Magic the Gathering game. And when you're ready to deploy him, he'll obviously turn this way and you can see that he has an attack of five and a defense of eight. Next up is your base. This is the Death Star Command Center. And when you build a deck or when you play, you will always need a commander and you will always need a base. And one thing to mention about your commander and base is that they have these symbols here in the corner and this dictates how you will build your deck. More than likely, you will only add cards to your deck that follow this uh, color scheme. Now, yes, you can add colors uh, that don't follow your base or commander, but if you do, you will have to pay extra resources to deploy them. All right, so let's go through the bulk of the cards. The first thing you're going to notice is you have three experience cards. This is learned, and it's a plus one, plus one, with no deploy cost. Next, you'll get two TIE Fighters with a strength of two, and a health of one with a single deploy cost. Gotta have some troops, right? You need stormtroopers. Here's the Death Star stormtrooper with a strength of three, a defense of one, and a deploy cost of one. Admiral Ozzel, he's an Imperial officer. He has a strength of two, defense of three, and a deploy cost of two. Here's some more troops. You have a First Legion snow trooper with a strength of two, a defense of three, and a deploy cost of two. You have three. Admiral Matis, he has a strength of one, a health of one, and a deploy cost of two. Here's a few snow trooper lieutenants with a strength of two, defense of two, and a deploy cost of two. Two Viper probe droids with a strength of three, a defense of two, and a deploy cost of two. Admiral Piet, another uh, captain of the executor, another Imperial officer, and he has a strength of one, a health of four, and a deploy cost of two. You're gonna get three super laser technicians who have a strength of two, defense of one, and a deploy cost of three. You will also get three cell block guards with a strength of three, defense of three, and a deploy cost of three. General Veers, another Imperial officer, strength of three, defense of three, and deploy cost of three. Three Grand Moff Tarkins, another Imperial officer, 
Strength of two, defense of three, deploy cost of four. Three Imperial Interceptors with a strength of three, defense of two, and a deploy cost of four. Darth Vader's TIE Advanced with a strength of three, defense of two, and a deploy cost of four. Here's a couple of ATSTs with a strength of six, a defense of seven, and a deploy cost of six. Gladiator Star Destroyer, strength of five, defense of six, and deploy cost of six. The Blizzard Assault ADAT, strength of nine, defense of nine, and deploy cost of eight. Emperor Palpatine, defense of six, strength of six, and deploy cost of eight. Here's the Relentless, another Star Destroyer, a strength of eight, defense of eight, deploy cost of nine. Three copies of Vader's lightsaber with a deploy cost of two. Here's a supply called Recruit with a deploy cost of one. Force Choke, which is of course is a force ability with a deploy cost of two. Resupply, which is a supply <laughs> with a deploy cost of three. Three copies of Open Fire, which has a deploy cost of three. Three copies of I Am Your Father, which has a deploy cost of three. Maximum Firepower, which is an Imperial Tactic, which has an employee cost of four. And last, Overwhelming Barrage, which has an employee cost of five. And that's everything. That's everything I can show you right now about the Darth Vader deck. I think going forward, maybe I'll take the starter decks and break them down for you. Like tell you exactly how many characters, ships, uh, and types of cards are in there, just in case if you end up getting maybe um, just a booster box set and you don't get the starter set, how would you go about deck building? You know, what's what's a recommended amount of numbers for certain types of cards? Maybe we'll make a video like that as well. And of course, I do have boosters. Uh, we'll start doing some unboxings for the boosters too. Maybe doing one a day for a little while just to show you some of the diversity in the cards. And then of course, we'll do a, a gameplay video and just anything else that comes up uh, going forward. I've heard Fantasy Flight has plans for eight more sets of Unlimited already on the books. Like they're, they already have them planned and they've got the largest amount of staff and artists uh, devoted to this game. So I'm, I'm glad Fantasy Flight is really uh, pushing this out as a flagship game. I'm excited about that. I've been waiting for them to do that, waiting for them to do that. So I am super stoked about the game. Let me know if you've got the cards. Let me know if you started playing it. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.